Hey guys. Oh my God, I actually look so bad right now. Right, I've just had to make a tripod out of everything in my room. So this might fall over, but we're gonna hope for the best. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to my... I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go there. See, this might be quite confusing because you will find that there's like two intros in this video. I've been doing TikTok for like two years now and I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and people are like, oh, do a vlog, do a vlog. So when I went on holiday last year, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a vlog, why not? Don't know who I thought I was. And to be honest, I did not think I'd be able to stick to it. But here we are. And I actually ended up with a 40 minute vlog. I edited it, literally did everything. And then I just didn't post it. Don't know what happened. And then everyone was like, oh, where's your creep vlog? I was like, oh. I can't be bothered. I spent two weeks filming it. Then I spent ages editing it, like all on the plane home and everything. And I just gave up. So it's currently the 3rd of March, 2024, eight months since this vlog. And I just woke up today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna finish it. So here we are. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, watching this back did make me really upset because well, we're in March and I actually depressed. I'm just like not looking my best. I could have put a bit more effort in to do this intro, but I just woke up and put mascara on. So <laughs> I'm not really showing you my room because look at the mess. Don't talk about it don't talk about it so i hope you guys enjoy this vlog finally i'm so sorry it's taken me so long to post it it's just so weird watching that back considering now that i'm literally like halfway through my first year of college like so much has happened in the last like half a year but right we're not even gonna get into that we're not even gonna get into that because i need to stop waffling it's already a really long vlog as it is so guys i did just want to mention that i am actually going to create again this year so if you enjoy this vlog let me know and i will do another one next year but it'll probably be a lot better than whatever this was i don't really know what's going on Anyway, let me know if there's any other type of videos you want to see as well. Um, and I'll see what I can do. Hey anyway, guys, that is enough waffling from me. So hope everyone enjoys this vlog. And yeah, really sorry, it's eight months late. Oh my God. Hi guys, good morning. Currently join me at 6 a.m. because I'm going on holiday. Basically, I was meant to wake up at half past five. I set my alarm for 20 past five, but it turns out I've slept through it. So my mum just had to wake me up, which is great. I've managed to sleep through four alarms this morning which is a great start to the morning. Taxi's coming at quarter past eight. So I know I am waking up quite early, but I do need to finish packing. I have to film some content as well. And I also need to like do smudge and everything. So I just thought it was easier to wake up earlier. I put fake tan on last night. So I need to just wash it off this morning. And then I also put my hair in heatless curls. Right, in case you can tell, I've decided to vlog this holiday. Well, most of it anyway. Obviously, I won't be able to vlog every single day because it'll be a long video. But I'm going to try and do snippets and then put it together for one video. Maybe I'll just do the first few days of the holiday. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Oh my god, it's just started to rain. Guys, hi Smudge. <laughs> God. Rufus, shut up. It's currently 10 past six and the house sitter is coming at eight because we have um, people coming over to look after the house when we're gone. So I just need to poo pick smudge but before we leave. So that's fine. I'm going to be shoveling shit at 10 past six in the morning. But anyway. Okay, I've just done smudge, so I'm gonna go back inside. I can hear someone in the shower, and I swear to God, if it's my brother in my shower, I'm literally gonna, because they didn't even need a shower, I literally need to wash my tan off. Okay. It's because of the electric fence. There you go. Okay, right, I need to actually go and get in the shower. Stop, I should just wake up. Why did I sleep in four alarm? Okay, I just did my makeup because I had to film a get ready with me for my TikTok. But I need to take my hair out, but I don't want to do it yet because as soon as I take it out, it's going to start dropping like all the curls and I want to keep them in like as long as possible. But I do need to film a whole video. So I don't know if I should just take it out now and quickly film the video. I don't know, it's a sticky one. I am just quickly going to do my teeth though because I literally forgot to do it when I woke up. <laughs> Ah, okay, I just took out my heatless curls. Look at my hair. Like, it has so much volume to it. I'm not even joking. I'm the biggest heatless heatless curl fan ever. Like, I couldn't even do this with a curler if I tried. Like, look at the volume in my hair. So much product in it last night, like, leaving conditioner. So it smells like coconut. I'm not even joking. I'm so excited. Okay, I just weighed my suitcase and it's 18 kilograms, which means, well, the limit's like 23, I think. So I didn't have to take anything out. So, successful. Okay, I've come outside to say goodbye to Smudge as the taxi's coming in five minutes. Look at his little face. Oh, He'll be fine though. We're only gone for 10 days and he's being looked after. It's fine. But yeah, 
He's enjoying some hay. I did give him a groom yesterday. Yeah. Bye, Smudgy. Taxi is here. So we need to. <laughs> so we need to go and get in the taxi. Got my oh, shoes no on. Shit, man. You well Off we go. Okay, we're in WH Smith because we went through security, so now we need to buy books and then yeah. we need to go to Boots to get some bits as well, like shaving cream and stuff. And then I actually haven't eaten and I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna drag drag from my Joe to Starbucks, I think. Okay, I got my Starbucks cinnamon bun and coffee and now we're just going to go to Boots. Okay, we're about to get onto our game. That's looking at I'm eating a sandwich. Did you buy one? Yeah. We all bought meal deals but my dad's bought something else as well. Got my Evian, got my meal deal and we're excited to eat it. I just bought some um, flip flops from Javiana's, some navy ones because I forgot them. So there we go. at the gate what's the time 20 past 10 20 past 10 what the flight is at 10 to <laughs> stop judging me um i got some bits i got some flip flops shaving cream face moisturizer and a meal deal that's <laughs> such my bag though so now everything's covered in conditioner this is like the pool area it's so nice wait let me show you the view look at the view what is the sea down there are there beaches down there the sea yes oh, what views olive groves the pool oh that's my dad and then outdoor yeah. shower like look at this I'll try and do like a proper tour tomorrow, but obviously we're just unpacking and stuff. I think we're gonna go out for dinner in like 15, 10, 10, 15 minutes. So I need to actually get ready. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do any hair makeup, I'm just gonna get dressed. Okay, I just got dressed. We're gonna go out for dinner in the book. This is the outfit. Um, skirt is from Addicted, top is from White Fox. And then I think I'm gonna wear, I was gonna wear heels, but I feel like this outfit's more like a trainer's sort of flip flop vibe. 
thing I'm going to wear with them. I'm going to wear one of my dresses, but not anymore because I want to save it until I've, like, done my hair and makeup properly. What's it like now? Like, I literally haven't reapplied my makeup since, like, 6 o'clock this morning. So, I feel like I should just save the dresses for, like, a nice makeup hair day. Dinner. Now walking along a strip where all the like, <laughs> where all the shops, they're not, they're not, not supporting the vlogging. Oh my god, look at that! Not supporting the vlogging lifestyle. Anyway, we're now just gonna walk because I want to go to all the like souvenir bracelet shops. I got my garlic. Oh my god, look at that one as well. Sorry. Look. Oh my god, it's so bright. Hey guys, good morning. It's currently half past nine this time, which means it's like half seven in England. Basically, I just realised that I didn't actually do like a signing off video last night. I think the last video that I did was when we were walking like across the like strip by the um, coast. Last night, I literally, I bought this bracelet. I'm going to try and show you. And then I literally went home and went to sleep. I was so tired. This is the bracelet that I bought. You hear the crickets, they're so loud. But I found out that um, the villa doesn't have Wi-Fi. It has Wi-Fi, but it like, doesn't work. So obviously it's a bit of a sticky one considering that I now have a platform on social media. So I had to actually use my mobile data to upload my TikTok last night and ended up using about a quarter of my allowed data for this holiday to upload a video so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that i'm gonna have to like find places that have free wi-fi in greece today i think we're just gonna chill by the pool we're just gonna go like food shopping and stuff and then just like chill by the pool um and then yeah that's actually it we have a really relaxed day just get used to it but it's so bright outside like honestly air con was on so strong in my room last night i was freezing I literally had to wake up at like three in the morning and go and put a jumper on, which was ridiculous considering we're in Greece. I didn't have a very good night's sleep, I'm not gonna lie. I think I slept for about two hours because I just kept waking up. I'm really bad at not sleeping in my own bed. Like even when I have sleepovers, like it's very rare that I'll be at someone's house and I'll have a good night's sleep because I just get, I'm really picky. Like I can only sleep in like certain conditions. <laughs> I literally haven't vlogged all day. The last video I did was this morning. But yeah, today we literally spent the whole day by the pool. The plan was to go out in the evening for dinner, but we ended up just staying um, here and doing a barbecue. To be fair, I don't even mind because it was actually really nice. But tomorrow we're gonna do another chill morning. So I feel like that's what works best because obviously now that me and Ollie are older, we don't want to have to wake up like really early as well like we used to. Mornings we're just gonna spend by the pool and then go out in the afternoon, evening. We're gonna go to like a local town, I think. Um, and then go out for dinner as well. I'm in my pajamas now. I'm just wearing this oversized t-shirt. It's like 11 o'clock now, I think. So it's like 9 p.m. back home. But I'm gonna try and like stick to the clock here because Obviously, if I'm waking up like this morning, I think I woke up at like nine here, so I need to sort of like stick to it. I need to have fake tan on, I don't know if you can tell, but it's already come off. Like, look how pale I look in this lighting, it's not funny. I actually sunbathed quite a lot today, so fingers crossed, I'm actually gonna have a bit of a tan by the end of this holiday. My lashes, I don't know if you can see, they're so dirty. I need to put a new set on tomorrow, but obviously, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow because I don't have time to do it tonight. My hair as well has also gone really really ratty i've been in the pool like five times today so the wi-fi problem i managed to sort it out today um so i've been able to upload a video we just played card games upstairs um with my family and then this evening i need to finish editing this video so far because i've literally got about an hour's worth of content that i need to cut down other than that i don't really think i'm going to be doing anything so the fruit over here is so much better so we've got loads of fresh fruit and I'm so excited to eat it. I think my skincare's done now, so I'm just gonna go to bed because I'm so tired. I'll continue the vlog tomorrow, I don't know when, but we'll see. So, night guys. I wanna go in the pool, but I just put sun cream on, so I need to wait. 
got my little station. Read my book. How far am I into it? I'm like halfway. But yesterday I wanted to finish it, but I just couldn't because I've only bought three books and I thought that'd be too many considering on holiday I normally don't even finish one. But I'm already halfway through the first one, so and it's only day two. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill by the pool all day and then later we're gonna go into town and then go out. Yeah, that's the plan. It's currently like eleven o'clock, so I woke up really late, but it's fine. We're walking through the like town to find somewhere to eat. I'm literally sweating. Like I don't think I've been this hot in literal years. I wore this like long black dress and I literally was like, oh, it's so cute. But I'm literally like about to pass out. Anyway, got some cute Instagram photos, so I guess that's worth it. Anyway, it's so cute here. I literally love it. Um, we're gonna find somewhere to eat. But I'm gonna look at all the like souvenirs because I wanna get more bracelets. And then, yeah, we're gonna find somewhere to eat and then go home. But I'm literally so hot, I hope it gets cooler soon. Like, it's not even this hot at midday at the villa, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Went for Bueno and Ferrero Rocher. Although I feel really sick after dinner, so not great. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat it, but I just wanted it. I always get Ferrero every holiday, and it's always hits. It's so good. What did you get? Boring, boring chocolate and lemon. Every sorbet. holiday he goes for chocolate and lemon every so every single year. It's an undiscovered flavour combination. For the last few years, I've actually gone for this every time. You like never will be eating this next year. Look at the sunset, pretty. Hi guys, it's a new day. It's day three of holiday, and I'm in the pool. I haven't got any cream on, and it's like eleven o'clock, so I might burn. i have just got stung by a wasp. So I'm a bit scared now because I actually haven't been stung in years. I literally touch wood right now. Wasps, they always like fly like to swim in the pool. So I've nearly actually swallowed one whilst I was in the pool because they were like on the top. Like, but I'm going to go to the beach today, but I don't know if we are anymore because none of us are really like fast on the beach because they're not like small beaches. They're like big beaches that have like loads of people on them. So like we're going to do that because it's just very really stressful. And yeah. although I do want to go to the beach at some point, but I don't know if we're going to go today. I also bought like two bracelets yesterday from a souvenir shop. I bought like an anklet to match this and another bracelet. But I think they're inside. I keep meaning to put them on. Brilliant. We also bought like two lilos. We've got a turtle and like a plain one. But we haven't really used them yet. So I literally just get in and go for a swim. So we want to like dive and jump in. But I can't because all my bikini tops literally just fall off. And I literally dived in the other morning and I like as I was under the water my whole bikini came off. Like I was like, completely naked. So luckily I was the only one in the pool at that time because um yeah I didn't really think the bikini situation through. I didn't bring any swimming costumes. I don't think I even own a swimming costume. I literally just brought like thong bikinis. Remember that I was on a family holiday. So hi guys, meet Gus. The name was originally Terry, like Terry the Turtle. But this morning I decided to change it. He just doesn't look like a Terry. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to try and show you the views. You can probably see it in the last video I took, but I'm going to do another one. Look at that. Not bloody bad. Also, I was going to, sorry, I'm just going to do like a really long vlog in the pool because I'm actually really enjoying myself. The aim of today is to get a tan because I still have not got one yet and it's really sad. So that is the aim. It's going to happen. I can do it. Okay, we're gonna go to the beach. Here's my outfit. I just realised it's really coordinated because I've got navy cap, navy bikini, and navy flip flops. Mm. I've got the dress. I'm trying to show the back. Oh, that's really cute. Anyway, yeah. I'm in Lidl's and I've got some Lidl bakery because even though we're in another country, Lidl bakery items will always hit. I got two chocolate croissants and then me and my brother each got a chocolate donut. I literally love Lidl bakery. I love it. Oh, 
There's one over there as well. It likes my dad. So many cats. Hello. Oh my god, look at this one. I have to be really quiet, but we're at a monastery and look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. But yeah, we're at a Greek monastery. My mum loves coming to all the like old monasteries. Yeah, so we're gonna go and look. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, look up there. And it's so calming. Like, I love it. It's so quiet. It's really, really hot though. I'm literally sweating. But I think after we're gonna go to this like bot botanical gardens and then Ollie saw a racing track on the way up and he does karting. So I think Ollie's gonna go karting as well. So it's gonna be a long day, but followed by the cat. I actually want a cat so bad. So now I'm at the karting place. It's like we're here. My brother and my dad are gonna go karting. Um, they've only booked a 15 minute one though, so we won't have to be here like too long. Yeah, really fun. I just get to sit here and watch them car. Although it's so hot, I don't think I'd want to do it. But to be fair, I would have actually done it, but I've got flip flops on, so <laughs> my excuse. Apparently this is the proper one, but they have to get in them. I don't really know the difference, but sure. It's like balaclava, but they're literally like sacks. So it's really funny. Like I told you last time I went karting in Isle of Wight, I like smashed the, te the like we did like a test lap in the go kart, and I like smashed it into the barrier, and my engine blew up, and I had to get another car. Like I had to be like wheeled off the track. It was really bad. So I feel like that's just like ruined my vibe of karting now. F1 career down the drain. I'd be there. I just bought a coat because it's really really hot. Mum, would you rather be married to a footballer and be a wag or be married to like an F1 driver? It'd be cool. I'd be I think F1 driver. driver. Yeah, but then there's more risk than dying. Yeah, that's so true. It's more dangerous. dangerous. Boring more. Mm, I feel like quite a lot of them cheat, I swear, because yeah, they, they think, yeah. Well, guys. No, that's right. Luke and Coke Zero just hit different on holiday. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's just so good. Like, I can't describe it. Nails have been on for like a week nearly a week and they're actually looking really good i'm actually really happy they've barely grown out <sighs> the current time is 10 past 12. it's actually way like, earlier than i thought i don't know why i thought it was like 1 pm after this we're gonna go to the botanical gardens which i'm guessing is just a garden i'm actually quite looking forward to that i feel like that'll be cute but yeah cheers to that Ollie's in the lead and then my dad's like just behind him, which I don't think my dad would be very happy about, but that's quite funny. My brother just like won, like came first out of everyone, which is obviously great for him, like he won, but now he's going to be like gloating the whole way back. Okay, starting the walk, turns out that it is a two hour trek. I literally thought it was someone's garden. Oh my god. It's walk. like a vertical ledge. I'm actually gonna cry. I think I don't like walking in hot weather. It's both. It's literally a mixture of both. I'm actually gonna like pass out halfway up this hill. I think I'll get to get like carried down an ambulance or something. In the rainforest section, I'm gonna try and spot some butter of roots from GCSC geography. Maybe a liana. Who knows? I swear this is a liana. Probably not actually. Yeah. Carders are so loud. Can't even hear myself talk. God, there's a peacock. What the hell? Bush here? Is this the banana tree? No. Oh. Crockery pear. There's a fan of lizard. Is it a gecko? I don't know. Cute. The issue is that we're walking downhill a lot, which means that we're going to have to walk uphill even more. So. It's all fun and games going downhill in the shade, but if there's like uphill in the sun, dead. The 500 metre point. I'm actually going to die. Oh, just trekked up a hill. Cock, guys. Walking downhill for like a solid half an hour, which means that there's going to be like an hour of uphill. There's another one. There's so many. This is a cooling point. 
Oh my god, I can't. What is it even? It's a mist. <laughs> it's probably really dirty, like lake water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Now nice and wet. <laughs> Straw is made out of pasta. <laughs> Stop to get ice cream. Well, let's ignore how I literally look like a bald rat as I took my lashes off. So I now have no makeup on. So I do a little update because the last time I vlogged was Wednesday and it's now Friday evening. But I can explain. I've nearly been on holiday a week. It's been it's like a week tomorrow, and I've no tan. So I was like, right, I'm gonna sit out all day, and I'm gonna get a tan. So I did do that. I sat out all day in the sun. So obviously sometimes in the shade in the sun, like I had sun cream on, but to be fair, I did get a tan line. So. Like, I had one book left which was love theoretically and I was meant to stretch out for the rest of the holiday otherwise I have nothing to do every day because I just sit by the pool and read um turns out I actually got really hooked on it and ended up reading it all in a day another story I got a sunstroke and I had the worst migraine I've had in weeks I couldn't move I felt sick I literally was freaking out all my family went out for dinner to a restaurant and I just stayed at the villa made pasta couldn't even eat the pasta went to bed basically i don't think sunbathing's for me i tell people that i can't sunbathe and they're like yeah just do it like i actually my body won't let me sunbathe i've got more water because i've got a headache but it's my fault because i had a cocktail at the beach you don't know why i could have they had a whole mocktail menu and i literally was like nope i'm having a cocktail and i knew it happened because i was dehydrated <sighs> It's currently Saturday and we're out for dinner. It's kind of awkward because everyone keeps walking past, but we each had a pizza, but I didn't finish it. Oh my god, I cannot get this phone to stand. I'm not even joking. And it's about to fall off the balcony, so might be my last ever vlog. Okay, update. This is such an unscenic place to film it. Like, I literally have a hanging thing in the background. I'll show you the view though. Like, look how nice that is. I just can't do it that way because the lighting's just not in my favour. Basically, I've tried to film this like five times and every time I have to stop because I get really angry. The first time I didn't have any makeup on and I tried to do my hair and I got so angry because my hair just wasn't cooperating that I actually screamed at my phone and then had to end the vlog. Um, speaking of that, that is why I have been so poor in vlogging the last few days because I took my lashes off like three days ago and I cannot stand myself without fake lashes on and it's so tragic and it actually like it catches me off guard sometimes i'm like that is really sad that i've become so dependent on them but without them it's so i literally cannot look at myself in the mirror thing though look at how many freckles have come out on my face like oh like i don't know why so many have come out on my face but i'm i'm here for it i'm loving it i wish i could like make them stay but the only way you can really do that is like sunbeds isn't it and that's not gonna be good oh my god let's talk about my tan because we've been here like over a week where's the tan where is it because i've been out at least two hours every single day actually to be fair i actually blame it on my mum because she was like oh just go out every night at like 5 6 p.m and you'll get a really nice tan i looked at i said the other day i was just like i'm just gonna check the uv index just making sure that i am actually getting a tan i've literally been going out 5 6 p.m every single night uv index two the crickets right now is how how my reaction was i'm actually gonna go home paler than i came here which is not 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 it i have to fake tan when i get home and i didn't want to, every year i do that and every year i'm like no this year i'm gonna get a proper tan i'm not gonna fake tan i actually blame my dad because his jeans just make me really pale and i you know the last few days we haven't really done that much although we have but i just haven't been bothered to like record any of it i don't know why we've been to some beaches we went to a beach today well we, it wasn't it wasn't actually a beach it was like rock rock pools to go like snorkeling but i actually forgot my towel and i didn't want to go in so there we go. Tomorrow we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do snorkeling around some like shipwreck or something. I don't know. And then go to like a beach bar thing. Which I'm actually quite looking forward to to be fair. In my head I was like as soon as we come back from holiday I'm basically back to school. Even though I still have like just under a month off still. I just can't go back to school. And it's actually. I actually thought I'd be really like hyped up to go back. But I don't want to go at all. And no my dad's currently cooking food on the barbecue i think we're having burgers basically i've been vegetarian this whole week because i have a really big thing about meat not being cooked properly i have a massive phobia of being sick like it's actually crippling like it is actually i i joke about it but it's really bad my brother got food poisoning like at the start of the holiday over i don't even know what it was over anyway it like really shook me up haven't had a piece of meat since i've eaten a greek salad every single place we go and i love a greek salad but 
I love a Greek salad and obviously Greece is the place to have a Greek salad but it's just so repetitive and I just really want like a lamb chop but I don't want to eat it because I cannot risk it and I know that if I ate one even if I was fine in my head I'd be like you're gonna be sick the wi-fi though oh my god like the content has been dead in my head I was like I'm literally gonna be posting twice a day like I'm gonna be so active I cannot upload a TikTok like it I have to use the Wi-Fi at restaurants it's so bad fine once we first got here it was a bit like a bit ropey but it was fine I don't know why today it's just cut out like it's just non-existent so I'm having to hotspot off my mum all day I've had to follow her around it's really embarrassing I don't even know I don't know if it's because my wife at home is so bad but one of my biggest things ever like something that just angers me to my bone is when there's no service and no wife like it's so sad when you think about it like is it that deep no but I will I actually get so angry when it just cuts, like nothing's loading. Well, you know, okay, this is so random, but you know what's even worse is when you like open everyone's snaps and you go to reply and you're like out somewhere and none of them send, like it takes like, it's it's humiliating because I've now like left everyone open for half an hour. I don't even know why it gets on my nerves so much. It just always has. I just hate when my wi is slow. I need to make the most out of these last two days. I am going to get a tan. I don't even care if I actually burn myself to a crisp. Not stepping foot into Gatwick, paler than I left not happening no. my brother's just like he always does this and be fit. i'll be like vlogging and he'll just come up and be like oh my god like That's literally shut lie. up i do not come over and go oh my god do you want to be in the vlog or not no, no. exactly so get out vlogs are terrible mate who actually cares about what you do people that are watching care yeah but they're all stupid aren't they okay well i'm gonna crop that bit out so no, i don't really care Nope. Goes, I'm really hungry, but bye. Okay, we're on the way to a wreck. No, where are we going first? Uh, going to an archaeological archaeological site. site, and then we're going to a wreck, and then we're going to go to the beach for the afternoon. This is my outfit, and then but I've got a different top to wear later because I didn't really want to wear this out for dinner. Um, I did tan this morning for an hour and a half, but. Yeah, actually that's quite long compared to what I can normally sit in the sun for, but I can't actually see any tan lines, but obviously it wasn't that long, so. But I'm gonna try and tan tomorrow. Guys, this is where it is, like, are you joking? I thought you were going to an archeological site and it's just a load of rocks. It's literally rocks. We've just driven out like 50 minutes to look at some fallen down rocks. It literally looks like I'm walking past a building site. Now. Also, if you can tell, I put my lashes back on this morning because it was just becoming too depressing. Now walking along the site, that used to be um, like a lake, no not a lake, a um, 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 moat, that's the one. Yeah. Turns out they're public baths. Yeah. Oh no, they're the public baths. The I don't have any cream on, so I like, forgot to put it on, so I'm going to burn, but there's life on the edge. I'm currently sat um, next to the public baths, or were public baths because I don't have any cream on and I'm literally gonna burn. My brother's like stormed off to some like other end of the site. I don't really know what's going on. Um it's just really hot and I'm also on day two of my period and that's really TMI but it day two just actually wipes me out. Like I don't know what happens. Like I literally feel like I'm gonna collapse like the whole day. Um I'm now just gonna think well I don't have any data left so I think I'm just gonna sit and play Crossy Road until they get back. Because it's a like yeah we're at the beach this guy with all the bracelets just came by and then it was really awkward but i couldn't say no so i literally just sat there for ages it was really awkward but um, it's fine i think we're gonna get dinner here as well but see the waves are massive i'm not even joking my whole bikini like my whole bikini top came off at one point but loving it good morning it's currently tuesday and it's the last day of holiday and i just woke up but look at my freckles I really don't want them to go when I get back to England. I'll literally cry. I had to re-stick this whole eye this morning because they all came off in the night. So I had to like search around my pillow for them. One thing we're going to talk about is this tan. So you know I burnt like last week. Look under my arms now. What the actual like... If it's like a dodgy fake tan job, I'm not even joking. I don't know what to do about it. First, and then we're going to go to the beach. But here I'm just going to get dressed, put on cream, sunbathe for like an hour and then go to the beach like straight on. I'm just gonna miss going in the pool. That's what I'm gonna miss the most. Like, <clears throat> I literally love swimming. I actually forgot how much I like swimming. I'm actually doing like a swimming club, not even gonna lie. Mm. Actually, yesterday I had two chicken nuggets 
and then I freaked out because I thought it was going to get food poisoning. Wow. I literally look so greasy right now. Like, are you joking? Trying to sunbathe, get a tan on the last day, which is not going to be successful. But I know. But the plan was to go to the beach. Sorry, I'm literally sweating. This is such an unflattering angle. I can't even see. I'm going to have to talk with my eyes closed. But I'm just going to try and get a tan. I'm listening to Anyone Goes podcast because I'm not really a podcast gal, but I've been listening to a few of them because I hate, like, I only downloaded one playlist of me on holiday and I don't know if anyone else, but when I listen to a song, like, a few times, like, I literally can't listen to it anymore. So I literally cannot listen to any of my playlists, which is really annoying. So I've just been listening to podcasts now. I just bought a penguin for four euros fifty. Not a real penguin. I didn't say a real penguin. There's this guy and he's like throwing them into the water and then they just like drift back. Well I don't know how it works because it's got a weight in it. Name's um it's a vlog. Perry. Perry. Okay, we just went to the beach, swam in the sea. I've now got my like cover up on. I don't know why I never video going to the beach, but now looking at like souvenirs. I kinda wanna get some more bracelets even though I spent all my holiday money, but because I love looking at like all the like trinkets and stuff so I can't believe it's the last day it's actually so sad it's so hot right now it's like 30 degrees I literally cannot move I also need to get a drink as I had um Fanta lemon I've barely had any Fanta lemon this holiday and I literally thought I'd be like living off of it but I don't know why I just always ask for like a coke but I don't know this holiday's gone really quick I was just thinking this whole year's gone really quick we've spotted We've spotted another souvenir shop, so we're gonna go there. Okay, I didn't get any bracelets because I literally, which way we go? An ice cream, I got cookies one. I've barely had any ice cream this holiday because it's always after we've eaten. What was I saying? Oh yeah, every time we go to get ice cream, it's like right after a meal. And I'm never really hungry after I've eaten. I don't even know why. I feel like it's the heat is literally making me not hungry. It's 20 past seven and we're going on a walk through the pine trees. Oh, That's sorry. a good view. Oh yeah, olive groves. View. Not a good view. Something ruined. Something ruined of you. Oh, Something. there's a walker. Walk Some, there's funny. a walker walking our way. I feel like I should go on a run. Yeah, you jog past them. I actually would say, I actually need to get into it's running. Past, I'd love to be a runner. I always watch those TikToks and they're like, yeah. come on a run with me. I'm like, I want to do that. The lashes have come off, if you can tell. I ripped them off in the pool because I just couldn't be bothered. So they've been on 24 hours. I haven't even started packing yet and we're going tomorrow morning. I need to pack everything up. But we're going down. We're going to have to walk up this drive. But I think my mum wants to get a picture of the pine trees. I don't know. It's literally been such a good holiday. Although the only thing is, the only bad thing is, is that I'm white as a sheet. To be fair, I feel like I've caught the sun a bit, but it's not enough. And all my friends go so dark, which I'm really jealous about. I've been like on holiday the same time that I have. So when we all see each other, I'm literally going to be white as a sheet and they'll be nice and tanned, but it's fine. Look at this view. Like, honestly, this is literally like practically outside of Villa. Oh, and we're stopping for another picture. Okay, we're currently on a roof. Just had to climb up a ladder, a bit dodgy, a bit scared, but brave it. Oh my God. Right, basically this is the villa next to us. It's got an indoor pool, outdoor pool, sauna, tennis court. We were all stalking it on, um, what's the word, Airbnb? No. It's got a tennis court. It's literally got a tennis court at the villa. That's where we're going next year, guys. Catch us there. You. It's actually so nice. I actually don't want to go. It's so warm. It's going to be so cold in England. Final meal. Going in the pool. So I'm going to video me jumping in the pool. Because I was going to go in. I don't even know if this is good lighting. I was going to go in tomorrow morning, but I'm not anymore because then I'd have to like let my bikini dry and stuff. Oh, so cold. It's really cold. Oh my god, no. <gasps> Go what? away! Go away! What have I done? Leave. Rate my dive. Did like a load of videos under the water, but turns out I was actually on seven times Zoom. So it's a bit dodgy, a bit of a dodgy angle under the water. So <laughs> probably gonna cut that bit out. My phone now and then I'd lose all my holiday footage. I don't even know if it is waterproof. It probably is, but. Good morning. It's the exact same position that I filmed in the other day and I'm wearing the exact same t-shirt and I just realized, so ignore that. Anyway, today is the last morning. 
so I need to get ready. I think the time is like half, I'm gonna say quarter to 10 and we have to leave at 11. I haven't really finished packing, I've still got quite a lot to pack, but um, I'm gonna film to get ready with me. Oh my God, it's so windy. It's so windy today. I'm gonna film a get ready with me out here and then finish packing. I think there's gonna be a storm tonight or tomorrow morning here. So we've actually timed it perfectly because then it picks up in England just as we get back. But yeah, I'm so sad to leave, but I'm excited to get back. So I'm just gonna get ready and then finish packing. Okay, we're going. I've got my drinks, I've got some water and a Sprite that I've mixed with the leftover orange juice. So, Go. I don't even think I'll do the rest. So next time I see you, we'll be on the plane. On the plane. I'm really hungry though, so I need to find something. To eat. Okay, got our bags. <laughs> so now we can wait for the taxi and then go home. Little update. We literally just got back. I said later smudge. Ah! I miss him so much. He's just having his evening hay. Look at his little face. It's actually such nice weather. It's like 20 degrees right now, which is nice. Okay guys, I'm back home. I'm in my room right now. Ignore my makeup. I just tried out some new products that arrived whilst I was away. Basically, I'm just gonna go and get some dinner with my dad. I think I'm literally gonna get a meal deal because I'm actually not that hungry. Um, and then I need to unpack my suitcase. I am gonna do it tonight. I just need to get it all out of the way. And then yeah, as you can tell, I've been filming a video. Um, and then yeah, I'll get back to you when I've unpacked everything, but the holiday vlog is nearly over. Okay guys, it's currently half past 12 and there was me sat there saying I was gonna fix my sleep schedule out the window already. I just thought I'd do a little outro because I didn't really do another clip after earlier when I said I was gonna tidy my room. I did tidy my room, I unpacked, tied my room, changed my sheets as well because I love getting back from holiday and getting into like clean sheets. It's the best feeling ever. But thank you for watching this video if you've watched it up until this point. Honestly, well done you because it's going to be a long video, I can tell. I actually really enjoyed filming it this holiday. I don't think my family did as much because I literally was like talking to my phone the whole time. But um, it was so fun. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed it because I will 100% film more in the future because it was so much fun to film. I'm so happy I did it because I was really on the fence. Like literally the night before, I was like, I don't know if I should vlog it or not. Like it's going to be so much effort. But I did and I'm really happy I did because even if no one watches it and no one likes it, at least I have a little Crete holiday summary um, on here. You know how I did for my first YouTube video. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's a great start. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along with me on holiday. And yeah, that's the end of my Crete 2023 vlog. You guys.